Howdy Nation. This is a drive-in movie theater speaker, which I turned into a preamp, an amplifier, and it has a little mixing circuit in it. So I started out last week, I just wanted to have a preamp off-board my guitars that I can use for recording. Um, but then I found this at the antique store and all hell broke loose. So what I've got going on here, two inputs. I'm thinking one for a guitar and one for a mic. Kind of use this as a busking kind of setup. That goes into an active mixing circuit. So you got the level controls here for each one. That goes into the preamp. And a 9-volt battery powers the preamp and the mixing circuit together. So from there, I can just take the preamp straight out through this jack. And to accomplish that, I've got these switches on the back, which that'll take the preamp out by itself. That connects the preamp and the amp together. This will send the preamp and the amp out by itself. And then that sends the preamp and the amp out to the speaker. So you can use it just as a regular amplifier. That powers on the amplifier. And uh, this is the only control that was on this. I put a new knob on it. But that controls the volume of the speaker here itself. I do have a tone control on here. It works okay, but I gotta work on the capacitor, I think, a little bit. But all in all, I like it. I think it's really cool. And we'll power down and uh, do some sound tests so you can hear it. Alright, before I put it back together and uh, do the sound test, I'll open it up just to show you what's going on in here. And I'll try to provide schematics for the circuits I used. Uh, here, comes, here it comes in and from there it goes in, here's the little mixing circuit and that's just an op amp, a few capacitors and resistors. It goes up here to the preamp uh, which is one of the famous ones found online and then that goes into the amplifier here. That amp chip I found at Radio Shack in a little kit and uh, it works pretty good. This all together with the preamp and this amplifier, I get a pretty good clean tone. And uh, I just wanted to point that out, that that was what I was going for. I built the Ruby, I think, before, and uh, you know that's got the good crunch and everything to it, but, but I wanted a little bit cleaner tone. So I'll try to post the link for that, and uh, combined with the preamp, and gave me a pretty good clean tone. So let's do the sound tests now. So there you go. Um, I can get some different tones uh, based on the mixing the input level with the output of the speaker and the tone. It's quite loud, really. Uh, if you plug a regular guitar into it, it's like a crazy fuzz box. Uh, but I think this works pretty well for what I'm going to use it for, you know, this kind of acoustic kind of a sound. And uh hope you like it. Thanks for watching.